kill him. <laughs> They haven't played this one in a while. Box to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. <laughs> Loathsome that sounds like Vegeta. <laughs> now, Crypto, to ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Encrypto! Do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! Yes, profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Perfect! Curse these creatures! Work, 
crypto. Mmm, Martha. He didn't tell me where he's having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's... Holy mother of... Martha, give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic. Fry that farmer! <laughs> Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the agricultural engineer. You can consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. Be merciless! Let none survive! Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What is over that? A new silo? Let's get it up with a big old Crypto! That human <laughs> law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry voice. of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! Boo the Furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto!
Take a spin in your sauce. Get a feel for the controls and then go ahead and start shooting! Destroy all buildings! Leave no trace! Bomb those monkeys back to the Stone Age! I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate That's them. That's right, Vegeta. Now! We can't allow it, Vegeta. Open fire! <laughs> oh, boy. Crypto. Gonna have to... I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans
wipe them out once and for all! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right, good. Yes. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Oh. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and... nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet, letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves, but with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. 
The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may not have known this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my spare time, I've been developing some truly impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you. If you've got something for me in trade, say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. 